Newton's First Law of Motion Before learning Newton's First Law of Motion, one must understand the concepts of mechanical force, magnetic force, electrical force, and gravitational force. Acting on Bodies Consider a toy car which rests on the floor. If you push it with your hand, it moves forward in the direction of the push. Similarly, if you pull the toy car by connecting a thread to it, the car moves forward in the direction of the pull. Pushing or pulling in this case are insignificant without applying the force on the body. This force, which applied on the body with physical contact, is called mechanical force. There are ways of moving the toy car without touching it. For example, take a toy car which is made of iron and put it on a smooth table. If you hold a powerful magnet in front of it without touching the car, the car begins to move towards the magnet. The force applied by the magnet on the car is called magnetic force. Take a plastic comb and comb dry hair repeatedly. Now, place the comb near a small cork piece or pieces of paper without touching them. Observe that these paper pieces start moving towards the comb, and this is due to electrical force acting between them. The earth attracts all bodies close to it towards the center. The earth even attracts the moon, and those are separated by a large distance. The sun attracts planets which are separated by millions of kilometers because the sun has a very large mass. This force of attraction between bodies in the universe is called gravitational force. These several forces, which include mechanical force, magnetic force, electrical force, and gravitational force, act on bodies and make them move. Observe that in all cases, bodies move only when force acts on them. So the force is actually responsible for the motion of the body. If there is no outside force acting on a body at rest, it continues to be in the state of rest. Similarly, in the absence of an external force, the body moving with a constant velocity in a straight line path continues to be in the same state of uniform motion. This brings us to Newton's first law of motion. It says that every body continues in its state of rest, or of uniform motion in a straight line, unless acted upon by an external force to change its state.